right, mixtapers, we're back with another heart-pounding edition of Mixtape Malarkey, our very own punk rock pop culture game show. And we are joined tonight with Mixtape alumni. You remember, you may remember these boys from season one. However, they're back, our good friends in Dead Living. How are you guys? Woo! Doing good. What's up? Good to be back. Good to see ya. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you all are doing well. <laughs> yeah, I got cheers. Cheers to That's you. Right. Cheers to you guys. You cheese at the bar. Hope. And um, <laughs> I got uh, I got my koozie right here from my from yeah, my boys. Yeah, Ooh, nice. yeah. I love it, dude. Who gave, you, who gave you that koozie, Ramon? You gave him that. Yeah, koozie? I sent it over. Oh, yeah, he shipped it over. Yeah. Nice. I know. I was stoked about it. Good shit, man. Yeah, dude. What a freaking one of the one of my favorite birthday presents I got this year. This was <laughs> fucking great. Uh, yeah, total D uh total DIY that one. I love it. I love it. I love homemade gifts. I've been showing it off uh for the last couple of weeks on the show. Well, I'm so fucking in love with it. I keep giving it shout outs at the beginning of every episode. So yeah, nice. happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. Here, especially here in Chicago, everyone's Irish. Yeah. Everyone goes Irish all week. Oh, man. Every, I, I like that. Everybody's Irish on St. Patty's Day. So, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, I'll take to that. So we're here. Yeah. One of my favorite alumni from season one, Dead Living, punk rock out of Chicago. How you guys been doing? You doing well? Yeah. yeah. Pretty well. Yeah, as good as it can go, considering now. Well, that's what we like to hear. That's what we like yeah. to hear. Are you ready to start the games? Yes, I am not afraid. Ready. Let the games begin. You should be. <laughs> you should be. Now, well, getting to know you guys, as I have, I know that you're uh, pretty substantial Batman fans. Is that correct? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Well, we're gonna, we're test the metal of your Batman knowledge with Ramon our. Ramon had, our Ramon had a Batman birthday cake for since he was uh since like last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah one, one through uh, one through now, every year so far. Every year, a Batman birthday cake. And every Halloween, <laughs> without fail. That's impressive. That's impressive. So. We're going to play the game that we start every episode with, and it's called Think You Want to Know This. Think You Want to Know This, Batman trivia. And we're going to do this right. Yes! Oh, thank God, it's only Velcro. Uh, okay. Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? <laughs> so, where, is where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do Batman trivia, and we have to do it right. Yeah. All right, Dead Living. Are you ready for your first question? Yeah. Which actor has portrayed Batman more than any other actor? Christian Bale. Think of everything. Right. Is that your final? Think yeah, of right. everything. No, no, it can't be. It can't be, right? You're talking about the TV no. show also. Wait. Because, well, Adam West was just strictly the show. Christian Bale did a trilogy. Think of yeah. everything Batman. Right, Michael everything Keaton did one. Oh, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about, uh, guy, what's the guy that does the voice of him? Um, tell me you got this, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Who does right, the Mike, voice? Got me in this. I can't remember his name. The animated voice. Yeah, I don't know. I've done him for like years and years and years now. Because otherwise, Christian Bale has done the most movies. So I guess that that will be our final answer if we don't know uh, the other guy's name. All right, here, all right, this is gonna be a buzzer. Oh, and it's so loud. Oh, so geez. this is it was the voice actor that has played Batman more than any other actors, and that is Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy is that voice. Now, Man. as a bonus, as a bonus is how many times has he portrayed the Cape Crusader? And you can give it, I'll give it within up or down of one. So there's that uh, that animated series that was like, you know, huge when we were kids. 
there's the games, the video games, which there's like how many? One. At, least, at least three, right? If not, I think more. And then he's definitely done. I think he still does all the animated fucking things. So that's a shitload. A yeah, shitload. one. So take, a, yeah. take a shitload guess. Okay, here's a shitload guess. Let's go for 20. 20? Yeah, it's probably even more than that. Anybody, anybody else? Yeah. Basically, I'm going to go top. under. I'll go under and say like 15. What do you got, Merlin? Uh, I'm going to go with my birthday and go 25. Oh, you know he goes for the over. All right. This. It was 28. Uh, was it, was 28. It was 28. What the fuck? Damn. It's a good amount. So, nine television series, 12 animated movies, and seven video games. Shit. You know what? At the very least, we're going to learn something today. That's what gonna... I <laughs> Please. Batman's going to teach you a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, question number two. Yeah. Look at that Batman voice. I sound like the Bat Dad. But I'll say this clearly. Is can you name all four male Robins? Okay. So let's see. We got Dick Grayson. Grayson was Nightwing, right? Grayson. Sure. So wait, fuck. Okay, so Jason Todd. I don't oh, remember. God, it's just one more. Timmy. <laughs> What's that? I, I, no, I, I have no idea. I, I think Holy twisted be, I think metal. Be it. All right. So not not bad. Three out of four. Three out of four. Yeah, you had Grayson, you had Jason Todd, you had Damian Wayne, Tim Drake. Tim Drake. Oh, oh I didn't say Tim. Dang, that was a guess. <laughs> Did you say Tim? Good, good shit, Ramon. I said Timmy, but that, I was like, I had no idea. Oh, you just guessed them? Right? I was going to say like Timmy O'Houlihan or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but still not not bad. Not bad. Okay, not bad. So, not bad. Out of an impossible, you could have got up to 50 points, so it's hard to divide. So, as a bonus, as a bonus, can you name any of the female Robins? What? See, I knew I should have brushed up on some things. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I could just, I just know that the one that I know is from The Dark Knight Returns. And who is that? Who is that? That's a good question. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, Gordon, is it, she's a... Uh, oh, no, 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 that's, no, that's, I was thinking, never mind. That's, that's not Gordon's daughter, because Gordon's daughter is uh, Oracle or whatever. No, she was someone else's daughter, but no, I don't remember her name. All right, remember. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so the <clears throat> female Robins, Stephanie Brown, Carrie Kelly, Helena Wayne, and Julie Madison, the four female Robins. That's all right. Question, question number three. Question number three was who was the first Batgirl? Was it a, wasn't it a Alicia? Not the actress. Right, I'm thinking the story. What my bad. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to throw out my, my Batman shirt. Yeah. And all <laughs> my comics. Uh, not unless it's like Rachel or some shit. <laughs> are you gonna hit it twice? Oh. I was wondering if you're gonna hit it twice with the name yes. But yeah. first first bat girl. Oh, I can't wear it on my hat. Yeah, let's let's learn something today. Hey, let's you just... might have to change these questions. We're doing pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're We're turning the bat. Set bat in. Alright, any any guesses at all on on who she might be? <sighs> no. <laughs> Alright. So, so What's that? Selena Kyle or whatever. No, no that's that's not, that's not, that is not correct. There's that buzzer. All right, the first Batgirl 
and you actually started to say it during the last question. Speaking of the Oracle, it's Barbara Gordon was the first background. Um, she was the first one. She was the first one. Okay. So, but speaking of which, that's all right, as a bonus, as a bonus, when she became the Oracle, it's because somebody broke her spine. Which villain wow. broke her spine? Yeah. So we can get this at least the Joker. Is that your final? It, I think so, is. yeah. In the <laughs> Killing Joker song. Yeah. That's correct. Nice. Oh, there we go. 10 points Ooh, right there. Got uh, at least one answer. 47 punky points right now out of a possible 360. Okay. Question number four. Question number four is which of the following is not a real Batman villain? So which one is not a real Batman villain? Is it A, Polka Dot Man? Is it B, Sweet Tooth? Is it C, Naked Mole Rat Man? Or is it D, Lord Death Man? Wow. Which you one is what? not a real <laughs> Batman villain? All of them were sounding more and more ridiculous than the last. I was like, all right. So we got so we got Polka Dot Man, Naked Roll Man, Ro Mole Rat Man. Sweet Tooth and Lord Death Man. Sweet Tooth sounds legit. I feel like there's been a Sweet Tooth. I'm getting thrown off because that's that Twisted Metal character. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, hey, that's a good clue. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, You're right. Maybe that's, You're yeah. right. So it's got to be Sweet Tooth. It's um, gotta be. A is Polka Dot Man, B is Sweet Tooth, C and is Death. Naked, Roll, Naked Mole Rat Man, D is Lord Death Man. I don't know. Lord Death Man and Naked Roll Man. I can't even say it. Mole Rat Man. There's Mole a Naked Roll Man. Mole Rat Man. I don't know. That's the one that you you, you would figure it is. I mean, Naked Say that Mole five times fast. For Naked so Man. It doesn't even roll off the tongue. I mean, what do you guys think? I could take the gamble on this one. I think well, I since you speakers. mentioned the twisted metal character, I feel like that's that's kind of a but it but sweet too. I mean, that could easily be a, ba a Batman villain. That's the one that sounds most like one. Right, right. So that's why that's where they're trying to get you, man. That's where Punky, you're trying to get us. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, what are I we think it's sweet too. Because I was going with uh, the, the the I was going with choice D. What were you gonna say, Mike? Uh, yeah, I'm leaning towards. B or C. Um, oh, the sweet tooth. Sweet tooth and naked, naked mole rat. rat man. What do you got? Yeah. Fuck. Sweet tooth or naked mole rat man. Oh shit. All right. Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah I guess mind. sort of leaning towards sweet tooth. Okay, I guess let's just go sweet tooth. <laughs> Your final? I mean, yeah, just yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go. Ah! It's Naked Mole Rat Man, isn't it? <laughs> naked Mole Rat Man! I mean, come on. I was thinking, I was like, it's gotta be, man. I mean, there's of no course. chance like naked anything in a bat. Yeah. yeah. It's like, there's no way there's a Naked Roll Mole Rat Man, so he's, he's gotta be a Batman. I trusted that gut instinct. Fuck. Sweet Tooth I mean, is, is so a sure real villain. Too, like, how is he this a real villain? <laughs> he's only had two two appearances in all the Batman canon. But as Wait, a bonus, well, as a yes. bonus, when first introduced, Sweet Tooth tries to turn the Gotham River into what? As his big ploy to take over the city. Tries to turn the water into what? That'd be like chocolate or something. Chocolate. Maybe a milkshake. Uh, uh, my first guess would be ice cream. I mean, it's got to be something sweet, but right. something dangerous too, you know? Gotta at least get brain free, so. Um, chocolate, milkshake, ice cream. What do you got? Maybe cho chocolate milk, Willy Wonka style, maybe? I don't know. Is that your final? All right. Uh, I know. Uh, choc what, what'd you say, Ron? Chocolate milk? <laughs> okay. I was going to say chocolate milk or ice cream. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's give a final. Um, 
Well, what could you turn a river into? I mean, it's a comic, so like anything, I think. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's say, let's say ice cream. Let's throw ice cream. Yeah, that sounds more disruptive. Anybody um, else? Any river. Uh, yeah, I'd say ice cream. Yeah, I guess. Ah oh, man, you gotta start following ET's gut. It was chocolate. <laughs> It was chocolate uh, shit. Well, we followed ET's gut on the last one, and that uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that did not oh, work. Yeah. <laughs> he turned the, the Gotham River into chocolate, and he had an army of angry, disgruntled children that he pulled in. Real okay. Batman villain. Real Batman villain. Yeah. Hell no. The right. naked mole rat man <laughs> isn't. Children of the future. Yeah, naked mole rat man is not a Batman villain, but Sweet Tooth. Who is like a, literally an overweight guy in like a purple suit? Like, <laughs> only makes two appearances. Sense. But that's okay. <laughs> Question number five. Highly contested, but who killed Bruce Wayne's parents? Uh, wasn't it Joe? Uh, no, no. By, by name. Who is it generally? The general assumption that we generally accepted that killed Bruce Wayne's parents. I mean, he, he was under Joker. It wasn't Joker. So, Rake, what do you think? So, I'm thinking we're going to maybe have to go with the Joker unless Mike wants to stop me because I know that I've read at least one comic that alludes to it, and every other one kind of is just like a random dude in the alley. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Initially, I was thinking that one guy that like would uh, tally like himself, your uh, Zaz or whatever. Right, but I don't know. That seems too. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. So, right. so what's your final? Uh... <laughs> yeah. See, I'm going to say Joker, and then it's going to be Zaz. So, so your final Zaz? You know what? Let's, let's go with my bandmates' guts. Sure. All right. Ah, oh, there's that buzzer again, and I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> so, Joker wasn't around till later, and same with Zaz. Now, it's one of the sus suspected individuals believed to be the Joker, but the person responsible is Joe Chill. Joe Chill. Killed. As a bonus, do you know the name of the theater that they were attending that Martha and Thomas Wayne died outside of? Shit. I was hoping, I was hoping that you're going to ask for the name of the movie they were seeing. <laughs> I was like, please let it be the movie. Um, What's the name of the movie? The Mask of Zorro. But the theater... I mean, I guess either Gotham Theater or like some kind of like. Anything, anything to add? Is that <sighs> final? <laughs> yeah. All right. It is not the Gotham Theater. It is the Monarch Theater. Monarch Theater. For knowing the name of the movie that was there, I'm going to give you the bonus anyways and give you the 10 points. Okay. okay. Very I don't generous. know that. Very at all. That was that's some good Batman trivia, and it's my show, and I can do what I want. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna give you that. All right. All right. One last Batman trivia right here. Question number six is: Who are the mothers? Mothers to Bruce Wayne's children. Oh. Um. God, what's her first name? But Ra's al Ghul's daughter uh, is the mother of Damien. And who is the mother of the other children, other child? I have no idea. They're married in the comics. Oh, uh, if I'm guessing, if I had, well, I don't know. Oh, I think so, but yeah, uh, Selena Kyle. Maybe that would be at least my that would be at least my best guess. You know what? 
That's correct. Woo! Nice. Right. You're right. Selena Kyle and Talia Al Ghul. Ra's Ghul. Oh, yeah. Daughter, okay. you, you, um, you, you named one of the kids, which is actually part of the bonus. So, okay. Because can you name two of the of the Wayne children? So you said one. You said Damian Wayne. Do you know the name of any of his other kids? You know, like, I can't see. I don't know much about this character, but I remember a, a Batman fan telling me that I think they went by, in the end, they go by uh, Huntress or something like that. Is that your final? Or, yeah, that would be my final. That's all. Like, that's the only info that I could pull out of the. And you know what? Shallow For well. that, I'm gonna give it to. You. <laughs> Finally, we crushed one right there. We are up to 127 punky points after round one. Not okay. too bad. Okay. Not you know too what? bad. Now the next game that we're playing, it's a fan favorite here on the show, and it's a game that we call Pillage and Plunder. Pillage and Plunder. It's a good old-fashioned scavenger hunt, mixed tapers. And what this is, is a time <laughs> And going through the 10 items that we are looking through, looking for, <laughs> for pillage and plunder, are the following. There we go. Number one, it's something orange. Two, the biggest knife or sword that you have. Three, something musical. Four, a band poster. Five, a left-handed toothbrush. Six, some hot sauce. Seven, a tangled mess of cables or wires. Number eight, some magnets. Nine, a sock filled with spare change. And number 10 is a lighter. Now this is a timed event. And you have to go find these items and just show them to me and then I will tally them and then keep looking for the rest. Are we ready? Ready. In three, two, one. Pillage and plunder. Elliot, Elliot, grab. Oh shit! Grab your lighter, Elliot. Here's a uh, something orange right here. Oh, yeah, I got an orange That's lighter. One. Mike, Mike, where's your sword? I know you've got a sword. Here's the lighter. Lighter, let's see it. <sighs> Elliot's got one Noise. too. There. there we go. All right. Oh, he has a lighter too. All right, so there's two items. We have something, something musical. That's free. Here's a sword. Oh, there's a sword. Yes. Got a sword. I was hoping we'd get a sword. Um, my left-handed toothbrush. There it is, left-handed toothbrush. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that's man. Crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> Here's a mess of cables. Let's see it. A cable? Oh, show it. Talk so it jumps over to you guys. Oh, uh, here's the cables. See the hot sauce? Oh, yeah. I didn't see the hot sauce. Uh, hot sauce, you got it? Show me. Can you see? Can you see? There it is. Yes. Hot sauce. That's seven out of ten. We're looking for magnets, a sock filled with spare change, and a oh, band poster. On a sock filled with spare change? Can we run that right now? Uh, you, got change? <laughs> <laughs> you got change? It's the least I could do right now. You got oh, man, we can make it happen. Well, I can take my shoe and sock off. <laughs> I can do the sock uh, change. Oh, Mike's got it. Mike's oh, got okay. it. Cool. Uh, <laughs> something musical? They already got something musical. We need yeah, you got the guitar. magnets, a sock filled with spare change, and a band poster. Okay, Mike, you got a band poster or something? Uh, yeah, I have. Oh, here. This counts. Uh, it's uh, Frank Zappa on a toilet. Oh, hold on, talk so we can see it. Uh, this is the band poster. Oh, there we go. I need a sock okay. and some magnets. A sock with spare change. All right, I'm still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hurry, man! Magnets. Um, okay. Magnets. How do they work? I got one. One magnet, have a magnet here. I have a magnet. Let me see it. <laughs> here it is. 
glider. Keep talking. Oh, there it is. There's a magnet. There's a magnet. We just need a sock with spare change. We're so close. I got it. I got the sock. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Give me, give me a good whirl. That's actually a dangerous amount of coins. <laughs> and that's time. Stop the clock. That's all 10 items. You did it. Oh, yeah. man. The old Boston Blackjack. <laughs> yeah, I got coins everywhere. Was that uh, in living color? Sock full of quarters? Oh, yeah. Yeah, home yeah. <laughs> Classic. Classic. No, got all 10 out of 10. That's 360 pumpy points that you earned right there. Brings Wait. you to a total of 487 pumpy oh, points. Not Damn. bad at all. We needed that badly. We needed that desperately. Yeah. Way to clean it up in the in, in the second inning. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Woo. All right. We're ready for our final game of the night, Dead Living. Yes. All Let's right. do this. Our last game is a game that we call Finish That Line, where we give you famous quotes or lyrics to songs, and you have to finish it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to – we, uh, we found out that you're uh, quite, uh, quite big Simpsons fans. Is that correct? Feeling very Say confident. So. We're going to wow. destroy this round. We're going we're gonna to test the merits uh, of that. We're going to give what, three minutes on the clock. And what this is, is we're going to give you a part of a Simpsons quote, and you have to finish it. If you get it wrong, I'm going to skip to the next one. And then we cycle through until you either get them all right or we run out of time. All right, Dead Living. Are you ready to prove your Simpsons knowledge? We'll finish that line. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. In three, two, one. I didn't think it was physically possible, but this. Oh. I didn't think it was physically possible, but this both blanks and blanks. But this both blanks and blanks? You're gonna fill it in, finish the quote. Like, sucks and blows. <laughs> Boom, that's one, that's right, there you go. Yes! That's right. Yes. <laughs> Number two, feels like I'm wearing. Nothing at all. Nothing that's at all. Two. Boom. Yeah. To alcohol, the blank. The problem and solution to all of are the yeah problem and solution to all life's problems. Oh, the cause and solution to all of life's problems. That's free. There it is. Oh my wow. god. That's nice. a turnaround. Okay, number four. Oh, loneliness and blank. Oh, Oof. loneliness and blank. Yeah, I'm thinking despair. Sounds like comic book guy, but should we yeah. skip this one? Should we skip, skip this it. one? All right, right moving forward. Okay, All right. okay. Talking out of turn. That's paddling. Boom, right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, uh, Looking at my sandals. My cat's <laughs> breath smells like. Oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> Well, we skip around if we get it wrong. All right. That's almost like back, yep, skip it back. Oh, loneliness and blank. Well, oh, loneliness. Again, despair, and... maybe. What's that? Despair, did you say? Yeah, maybe. That's wrong. Despair. Moving forward. Hey, we wasn't final answer, Regis. <laughs> it, no, we keep moving <laughs> forward. It's yeah, time. Breath My breath. cat's breast <laughs> smells like... Uh, sprinkles? Is that is that one? My cat's breath smells like fuck. I know this is Ralph. What the hell does he say? Is it kitty litter or something? Moving on. 50 seconds left. Ah! Oh, loneliness and blank. Um, oh, loneliness and heartache. Oh, loneliness and it's got to be something. Oh, loneliness and uh, solitude. Moving forward, 30 seconds, my cat's breath smells like... My cat's breath smells like... Uh, 
Come on, Ralph. Can, can we get a clue? He is right with it being Ralph. Ten seconds. Yes. Old loneliness Five. is like, or my cat's yeah. breath smells like. Cats. Uh, uh, squalor for the other one. Ah, uh, that's time. Damn. <laughs> All right. So you had number one. Um, I didn't think it was possible, physically possible, but this both sucks and blows. Bart Simpson. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Oh, oh. Stupid sexy Flanders. Hmm. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. We all know that's a homer. But hmm. four you missed. Old loneliness and cheeseburgers are a dangerous mix. <laughs> <laughs> Comic book guy getting wheeled away in a fucking wheelbarrow. Yeah. Classic. Number five, talking out of turn. That's a paddle. Looking yeah. out the window. That's a paddle. Staring at my sandals. That's a paddle. Oh, you paddle. better believe that's paddle. I don't want school canoe. That's a paddle. Oh, yeah, that's Jasper. Okay. That was that was an easy one for her. And yeah. my cat's <laughs> breath smells like cat food. Oh. No way. <laughs> Of course, Ralph, keeping it nice and simple. Nice and simple. Of course he would my cat's breath smells like cat food. Yeah, he just gave us he just lobbed it to us. He just fumbled it, you know. But that's okay. You're gonna get 50 for each one that you got right. You got you got four out of six. That's two hundred punky points right there. That's not bad at all. That brings you up to six hundred and eighty-seven punky points here on Mixed yeah. People Marky. Not bad at all. Not all right, all right. I can live with that number. I can live with that number. Cheers again. Cheers to you. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah, once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, here's to all of you guys. Hope you're well. Fan. And you as well. Oh, same. I got uh I got a couple more of these to wrap up the holiday with, so we'll have a good one. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming back and joining us. I'm so excited to be able to have done this with you. It means the world. Awesome. I, I love you guys so much. Yeah, Funky, thanks for having us. We really, uh, really appreciate it. It's a nice break from everything and stuff like that. So it's good to have some fun, you know? Before we part ways, tell my mixtapers where we can check out your tunes online. Well, the best spot right now, uh, I think and always for the most part, is uh, Bandcamp. So uh deadlivingmusic.bandcamp.com you uh can download and just even just stream there you can go on there and stream if you'd like or download everything for very cheap and uh otherwise dead living music uh, uh at like on instagram on facebook and all that youtube dead living music is gonna kind of be where you can find us for like our music videos channels and all that sort of stuff but check out bandcamp so you can stream or uh purchase all that sort of stuff Perfect. Thank you guys so much. My guests tonight have been Rake, E.T., and Merlin of Dead Living from Chicago. Thank you so much, guys. I'm glad you made it out alive. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Funky. I'm still here, still here. Thanks, Funky. Thank you so much. We'll catch you soon. Thanks, Funky. Have a good one, man. Cheers.